In the society in which Jane Austen lives, and remember of course we're dealing essentially with the middle and upper classes, she's never looking at the kind of society that Dickens looks at. She's not looking at the kind of poverty that, that Dickens describes, say, in Bleak House or Oliver Twist. She's looking at society for middle class women. And in her society, at this particular time, inherited property runs through the male line. So a woman might be born into affluent circumstances, but she will find that that affluence does not follow her through life. The only way to ensure it is, is marriage. And that's why, of course, marriage is, is so important in Jane Austen's novels. It's why, too, that even though we enjoy the romantic fulfilment, which is such an important part of those novels and of the course of, of the plot that runs through them, we're never allowed to forget that material circumstances matter.